Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back. I am Chris the Girl, this is my fiance, Tampa J. Hello. And today, like most weekends, like most days on this channel, we're doing some very, very nerdy things today. <laughs> First of all, we are here at Lowe's. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a while now, um, is to go inside of Lowe's. I know it sounds crazy, but if you've been, if you watched Vloggyuary where I vlogged every single day in the month of January, except for the one day when I was really sick, um, I talked a lot about my new bird feeder that I got for Christmas, thanks to this guy right here. And I love my bird feeder, it's been amazing. I see birds every single day now. It's right outside of my window where I work. And uh, we get a lot of birds there and it's been such a joy and it's been, it's been a lot of fun. And it's really gotten me into birding and bird watching. And now I'm like, I'm all in, I'm, I'm all in with the birds. So one of the things that I really wanted to do was to get over to a hardware store and look around their garden center, see what other bird accessories we can get. I really want to get a bird bath, for example. So I'm, I'm going to be shopping around for those and uh, just whatever other bird accessories we can find. Cause honestly, I don't even really know what's out there. Who knows? So. We're gonna go in and check it out, see what spring stuff they have, look at the plants, do all that good stuff. And then after this, we're going to Sci-Fi Bartow, which is gonna be a whole thing in and of itself, and I'll explain that later. But without further ado, thanks for clicking on this video. Really, really appreciate it, and let's go. I suppose it's a little ironic that we're shopping for spring stuff today, and it's really gross out right now. <laughs> it's super rainy. It's gonna be raining all weekend, and it's really cold too, or at least cold for us Floridians yeah. out here. So I don't feel very much in the spring um, mood, I guess, but that's okay. We're gonna try our best anyway. Look at all of the beautiful plants out here already in their garden center. I'm super excited. We're gonna be doing a lot of plant shopping. I've, I've been teasing this for, for quite some time, but we're definitely gonna be doing some plant shopping on the channel here very, very soon. Look at all the herbs. These are some of my favorite things ever. There's mint, there's cilantro, oregano, basil, rosemary one of my favorite plants you got a little blackberry let's throw a blackberry farm yeah that would be cool that are blueberries blueberries grow great in these parts yeah oh in these parts in these, these parts these here parts i don't usually like to buy my plants necessarily at like lowe's or home depot or you know i i like to try to go to local nurseries and stuff like that but it's still a great place to grab some plants if you if you want to Sure do like seeing all the vegetables and the herbs. And in all seriousness, we have the space for it now. You know, we, we have a backyard, we have a front yard, we have a side yard. We could totally start doing a bunch of different plants that I've I've never grown before. So that, that has been in the back of my mind is um, looking into different kinds of plants. And we could get a tomato bush. A bush early girl, hybrid tomato. Look, it's already got yeah that's cute additionally i've been thinking about flowers as well which is another type of plant that i haven't had much luck with in the past and um i don't know maybe this time could be different maybe we could get some pretty flower bushes there's some hanging ones over there that we could that we could get and put them around our home i don't i feel like we have so many options now we are inside of their garden center a lot of flowers in here too. Yeah, they're really pretty. I've just never had luck with, with growing flowers, so it'd make me very nervous, but we can always try again. It, it's hard here in Florida too, because it gets so warm during the summer months. Most of the time of the year here in Florida, it's just, it's too warm, too yeah. warm for anything to really survive, especially something as delicate as flowers. So I don't know, I this is something that is, not been easy for me but we could always give it a shot over in the back section in here they have oh yeah they have some bird baths bird bath. there you go so these are pretty standard you know nothing i mean they're fancy but they're nothing like i don't know unique i guess yeah they've got some some other statues oh, 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 up in oh, oh. here that's gonna be a hard hard pass 
But they let a turtle, a tortoise? A tortoise? <laughs> that's definitely what that's called. A tortoise? A turtle? I'm sure he's let a Another tortoise. turtle? And those pineapple statues that you were looking for, they've got them here too at Lowe's. When we first moved into our home and the guy like showed us around the home and stuff like that he looked directly at me and he said if you want you can plant stuff around the house not knowing that I was actually a, a gardener like a planter like I like plants and that's always stuck with me because I'm like well I have his permission that's so I don't think that there is anything wrong like I don't think the HOA or the renter company or whatever is gonna get mad at me if I like want to put in you know some palms or if I want to put in like this hibiscus tree here or lemon trees or something like that so I don't know it's always been in the back of my mind spring is coming so it, here in Florida it's basically here um, I don't know we might be doing something like that because I think that that would be really fun. This is the first opportunity I've That's really had to do this. So we, we will see, stay tuned. Bird of Paradise, wouldn't mind grabbing one of those at some point. That I know would definitely do well here in Florida. Obviously, you know, lots of tropical plants and, and things like that are gonna do very well. Or like these ones over here, the sea grapes, which are a very Florida beachy plant. They grow around the beach we see them all the time those are always really cool and also these guys you remember what that is yeah clusia <laughs> we used to pass that in south tampa when we took bella on our yeah. walks every day we'd pass that plant we were like what is that what called? is that and plant because it looks so cool but yeah it's it's a it's a clusia i believe it's a type of succulent because the leaves are like really thick it stores water in there I also, it's also called, it says Clusia here, but autograph plant. I never yeah, heard of that. Maybe because it's either. like paper, you can autograph it. I want to also think about plants that would be good for pollinators, butterflies and bees and stuff like that, as well as stuff that already grows natively here in Florida, because that's really, really important when you're planting stuff outside is to make sure that those plants are native to where you live, not only because it will help them grow um you know that will give them the best chance of growing and surviving and stuff like that because it's already in its native area um but also it's good for like i said the pollinators and you know the the animals and insects and birds and stuff like that that live in your area because they're they're used to those plants so that's something that i want to be conscious of as well and if I was still living in Arizona, that could mean getting some cacti and or succulents, which are some of my most favorite plants of all time. If not my most favorite plants of all time. Who am I, who am I kidding? They got a nice selection in here. This cool prickly pear cactus. There's some jade in here. Bunch of random succulents. One of my other favorite things are these little, these nice little succulent and cacti, uh, bowls that they've created for lack of a better word but it's a whole display of different succulents and and such which i i think is really cool too and also something you could totally make on your own as well which is really fun i've done that before we should do that on the channel because that it, it's a lot of fun just grabbing a bunch of little succulents and then sticking them all together in one big old display and they've got some really nice ones in here yeah so if you want to like make your own little succulent bowl thing here you could grab a bunch of these little guys in the little pots all the ones that you want and then you can uh put them all together in your own little little creation which i think is pretty cool yeah we'll do that at some point on the channel we got oh this one's blooming that's cool i like these planters here that already have the succulents inside of it all right now we're getting into more of the novelty stuff the things that i came here to see in the first place they've got a lot of cute stuff in here and they got a lot of disney stuff so it's gonna be hard to decide what i want to do um or even where to begin but i guess we'll begin here with minnie look how cute she is gardener mini she's creating a nice little little hedge here which is pretty cool how, how would you feel tampa j if i made a topiary out of your face i would love that you would love that you wouldn't think that's really kind of creepy you put it in the front yard yeah okay i'm on board can uh, i do it okay uh, with your face too and put it next to mine sure let's do it okay 
All right, so he's on board with it. Uh, but any <laughs> anyway, she sure is adorable. Really, really cute. Looks like she's on clearance too. $35. All right, so we'll have to consider that. Also, we got Mickey over here and he's got a nice little planter full of daisies. Super, super adorable. And check this huge bird bath here. Yeah. Mickey's standing down at the bottom. It's like a whole tower that he's standing right next to. That'd be pretty cool. They also have these tiny ones. And by tiny, I mean shorter ones. Looks like that one is $50. Little Mickey's just sitting there. I don't know. We've got so many options. I know you made your choice. I have made my choice. Flamingo. That's pretty cool. That, that's like a really it. it's neat very one. It's very Florida. Yeah, it is very Florida. Like if I saw that in the yard, I would be like... I like the top of it. It's a lot better than this one. No, oh, I like that one. Oh my God, no. <laughs> Never mind. That was, All a, I saw that was, was a real reaction, by the way. That was a real reaction. She, she even didn't see the frog. I really sure she did. Saw it. She jumped. Yeah, I did. I was not <laughs> expecting that. I was just looking at the pretty flower at the top and they had to wreck it with the frog. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I scared you. Dang. Oh, well. That's okay. So that's a hard pass. Hard pass on this that one. This is a haunted mansion for some reason. Yeah, they've got some cool stuff up at the top. There's the three-tiered fountain we were yeah, just looking at. There. There's that guy there's there. Rock. There's a rock thing there. I don't think we're going to be going that fancy. And look how cute this little stepping stone is. You're my happy place. Oh. That is super, super cute. Yeah, they've got, see, they've got just tiny simple. little ones. Yeah, like simple ones. Just I think cool. this is really cute. It's got birds already on top of it. That Definitely one's the, only twenty-seven dollars, so that's not too bad. This, this one is only 15. fifteen, so we could do that. These are like small; they're they're not tall, so I'm gonna have to find something to put it on top of, like a stand or whatever. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's it, it's actually like hard plastic. Yeah, I like but that. It's wicker. Yeah. Fifty, sixty bucks. Okay. Speaking of pineapples, they have pineapple plants in here. Look how cute that is. Look at the little pineapple that's growing. Oh, that is adorable. Very tempting. Kind of want to get it. Not going to lie. Here's some spring flowers and plants over in here. Some tulips. One of my most favorite flowers ever. Got a nice display of bamboo in here. That's pretty impressive. And of course, lots of orchids as well. It's getting to be orchid season. They're blooming. And just visually, I really like how this whole section in here looks. All of the different kinds of plants. It's overwhelming to me because I truly want them all. Ooh, a lot of bromulads in here. This is another great uh, tropical plant. Great plant that would do well in Florida. I see them everywhere. And they're really pretty. I like how they have this uh, all color like uh coated in here like yeah, this is too. all like red plants really and flowers cool. and stuff like that i believe these rods in here are stuff that you could hang yeah you could hang plants off of which is something that i really need because we don't really have the ability to hang plants on our porch so really oh yeah like this is this is what i need because this like sticks into the ground Two for 14 you want them and then you can hang plants off and look how funny these are if you don't want to like do your own topiaries or whatever because truly who does that but <laughs> you could just buy one that's cool i like the, <laughs> the dog adorable. oh it's bella in turf form and we've made it inside where it's nice and warm they got a lot of spring and Easter garden flags out here. Maybe we could get a garden flag. That could be fun. They've got some, some cute ones, some pretty ones. I like this. This one has birds on it. And I like the colors. You can't escape it. You cannot escape Taylor Swift ever. Go Chiefs. Uh, it's Hitler Swift. I'm so sick of it. Anyway, uh, look at all this stuff out here. How did Tampa Jay walk past this and not not say I, anything? I was uh, 
keeping it calm. I was distracted. I by got you. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm very distracted as well. She has that kind of effect on people. I, yeah, apparently so. <laughs> Evidently so. These are cool. They're cute. Little flamingos. Flamingos. Or very tall flamingos. I actually bought three. Actually. And took them to the car. Oh, okay. Gotcha. As long as you didn't get that d disgusting looking frog. I mean, he's, he's kind of cute, but like, just... No. I got a receipt. I'll return them. And look at all the grills. Fortunately, Tampa J already has a grill. I have a grill, but I don't have a pizza oven. Oh, true. We could get a pizza oven. My uncle has one. Just shove it right on in there. It's great. Yeah, I bet it is. We certainly eat a lot of pizzas to, to warrant getting one. And right next to the grilling supplies, we got more bird stuff. There's a lot in here. A lot of hummingbird feeders, which are really pretty. We picked up one from at home. It's a very, very basic one. Um, and I did put it out on the bird feeder, but I don't think any of them used it. I think it might be a little too early. So we're gonna wait till it's more springtime to try out the, the hummingbird stuff. Also, someone suggested that instead of buying like the concentrate for it that i should make my own uh because it's healthier and better for the hummingbirds which i had no idea so maybe we could try doing that as well mm. do we need a hummingbird swing i did not realize hummingbirds uh, wanted a swing okay well i'll think about that okay yeah i've i've seen those before where you stick them on, on the, window. the window and then the birds can be right up in your face eating their uh eating their bird food sixteen dollars okay yeah that'd be pretty cool these little picnic tables here are super cute one of our neighbors has these sitting out front and uh you could put it's kind of more of like a well i don't know i guess you could hang this up on the bird feeder and put bird food on on top of here but you could also stick it on the ground and feed squirrels as well a few different options with this one so far as far as birds go i've seen bluebirds oh man i should have thought about this before i press record bluebirds um there's a there's a blue jay that comes by every single day and grabs food and then zips on off the woodpeckers are the ones that are have like completely taken over the the bird feeder. Like I see them now more than any other bird. And anytime any other bird comes by, the woodpeckers like start like doing their thing on the side of the, the house. Peck, 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 and it scares all the other birds away. And then they come in and then they eat their food. Like they have taken over the uh, the bird feeder. So. Yeah, and Tampa Jay picked me up some woodpecker suet. That's what they're eating. And they've been loving that as well. So we, yeah, a lot of, lot of woodpecker action going on. Um, I saw a cardinal the other day. That was really cool. Uh, I've seen a variety of different ones on the, on the bird feeder. Some mealworms might be a good thing to grab too because both the bluebirds and apparently woodpeckers like these a lot so uh i might i might grab these even though it's, it's pretty pretty darn disgusting but that's exactly the bluebird that the bluebirds that used to come by they haven't i haven't seen them in a while i think it's because of the woodpeckers uh but they're the ones that that came by a bunch the eastern bluebirds these are more traditional looking bird feeders or i mean i say traditional but they're quite elaborate actually like look at the cages going on on this one yeah we're th I'm thinking maybe to get more bird feeders and put them all around the house so we can just attract all of the birds like I'm in like I said I'm I'm totally I'm in now I'm a bird person now we're doing it it's a thing this red one here is a double decker one so you can have one kind of bird seat in this bottom part and then a different kind up at the top part and then there, yeah there's two levels you can have some birds up here and some birds down here I like that. Okay, I have to think about that. I see a lot of finches as well. I haven't had too many jump onto the bird feeder, but I do see them flying around a lot. They're a very common bird that flies around where we live. But we do, there is specific finch food in here. So maybe at some point we could try some of that, try to attract more of the finches. Critter mix, I guess this would be 
uh, for small animals too. They also have the corn cobs. This is what our neighbor down the street does. They have little corn cobs that they stick on um, that picnic table. And I don't know, I don't see a lot of squirrels around our neighborhood personally. So I don't know if this, I don't know if this matters or not. Uh, but I could think about it, I don't know. And here's the other kind of little bird feeder that we have. It basically looks like a square and then you could get all these little squares and stick it inside of, of this one. The woodpeckers love it. Right now I've got the woodpecker suet in there. I started out with the peanut dough, which I think is a really cute name. Uh, but they have a bunch of, bunch of different ones. Peanut suet, there's a berry one. This one's a high energy one. We wanna get our, our birds all caffeinated, I guess. Oh, look at this, they have a huge block. Hope you all find this fascinating. I find it fascinating. I don't know, I'm a bird person now, but this one's a big block. And they and they sell big blocks too. Bird seed cake and a, ooh, a woodpecker cake. Wow, look at this. Oh, the big one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the woodpeckers would love that. <laughs> We're all about the woodpeckers That's a big now. Brick. Yeah, oh, there's a huge mealworm one. I'm not going to I'm not going to touch that one. But yeah, we'd have to get the big the big guy for that. Or there's this one too, which is like open. I don't know. So we'll, we'll have to do that at some point. I'll let the woodpeckers enjoy the one that they have now, but Definitely gonna come back and grab that at some point. I really appreciate the person who suggested that I, I make my own hummingbird mixture because I'm new to this and I should do more research before I just blindly like put crap out for, for birds. Um, but if you all have a suggestion of what I could be doing to help the birds or, you know, whatever, whatever, please let me know. <laughs> um, I appreciate it. I'm a novice, I'm a beginner, I'm just learning. Um, so I don't know, would it, would it be smarter to like, I don't know how you would make your own bird seed, but would it be smarter to make your own bird seed? Is this like not a good thing to buy? Is this an okay thing to buy? I don't know. Like, like I would, I would be very curious if, if you all have experience or, or knowledge, let me know in the comments below. Alrighty. I grabbed some bird stuff. I'll show you what I got, uh, in just a bit here. We're heading out the door. Also want to point out that they do have indoor plants in here too. More tulips, more house plants. There's a ponytail palm. A lot of good stuff. These huge fiddle leaf fig trees, which I wouldn't mind grabbing at some point too. And these are $120. Maybe not that, maybe not quite that big, but I kind of want to grab a big plant at some point. You could get some pretty good prices at like Lowe's and Home Depot and such. But yeah, they got a, they have a great variety of, of plants in here. So it's definitely not a bad place to grab grab your plants. I just always try to try to do nurseries whenever whenever possible. All right, let me show y'all what I got. So I did get some more bird seed. This is the morning bird blend, and I thought it sounded nice again i'm sure there's someone that's gonna be like you can't buy this for birds well just let me know i can do better i promise but i got this anyway cracked corn milo millet black oil sunflower seeds peanut pieces raisins and calcium carbonite so uh i don't know i think that that sounds pretty good for birds it says that uh a lot of birds would be interested my woodpeckers hopefully will like it so I'm excited about that. Uh, I think that the birds will like that. And I also got the double decker bird feeder here. Um, I think that this is really cool. Like I said, I, I like the idea of having two different kinds of bird feed in there and then they got two little trays. So hopefully that will uh, work out well for them too. And then I got these huge stakes here that I showed you earlier that we can either put plants on and or bird feeders on. So I'm not sure which, but these will 110% come in handy. I really need stuff like this to hang up plants at the very least. Um, so happy about these and they were not expensive. Nice. They were nine bucks each. Yeah. 
if I'm not mistaken. So we're back in the car. It is raining as you can see and it is cold. It is just miserable. So we're gonna go spend some time outside. It's an outdoor convention. <laughs> at Sci-Fi at Sci-Fi Bartow. Now if that sounds familiar, we did go to Sci-Fi Bartow two years ago. Man, that was like one of the first things I feel like I did for my channel. That's definitely not true, but that's one of the first videos that comes to mind when I think of my early days uh, here on YouTube. So you were first in Florida. Yeah, it, it was, and it was a lot of fun. I think that's why I think of it that way because I think about it and I'm like, man, that was a lot of fun. We really, really enjoy Sci-Fi Bartow, so we're excited to be going back today. Tampa J is gonna make a whole video on it. I'm gonna show bits and pieces on here because why not? Um, and yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Sci-Fi Bartow. It's basically exactly what it sounds like. It's a sci-fi convention in Bartow, Florida. And, um, it's but it's all festival. outside. It's, yeah. yeah, it's more like a street festival than anything, like a farmer's market, but make it nerdy. So hopefully there'll be some cosplay and um, there'll be, you know, a bunch of vendors and a bunch of fun stuff yeah. going on there. It's Doctor Who themed this year, which is really cool. I love Doctor Who. Um, so yeah, we are gonna head over there now. We just finished shopping at Publix to use the facilities, but also to grab some snacks and such. We're pretty close to Bartow, about 10 minutes away. Um, and there's Girl Scouts. It's Girl Scout time. So we bought some cookies. These are our favorite Girl Scout cookies. Got a box of Thin Mints, which are maybe arguably the best Girl Scout cookie that her. there is. And we got the Tagalongs, which personally, these are my favorite, the Tagalongs, but I'm not gonna deny that the Thin Mints are clearly the superior Girl Scout cookie. But yeah, these are, these are the best ones. So glad that the Girl Scouts were out there and we could help support them and get our cookies as well. We have made it to downtown Bartow, one of my more favorite places here in Florida, actually. I always enjoy my time here in Bartow. One of my favorite parts about Sci-Fi Bartow has always been the cars. They got a lot of really cool cars out here, like these Jurassic Park Jeeps. There's a Jurassic Park Jeep over yeah. there, John Hammond, of course. Lots of really cool cars. I'm not even really a car person, but it's it's neat to see the geeky ones. And this Jurassic Park Jeep has a triceratops in the back. Hope you didn't ingest any East Indian lilac. Check out the Ecto-1s that they have over here. Holy moly, I gotta say this is one of the most impressive ones that I've seen. Look at these, there's a whole inside area in here. Like how they have the seat that comes out, kind of like the in the new Ghostbuster movie, movies. This is so cool. Yeah, this is a uh, very, very elaborate. Ekoff, man. I'm a scientist. Keep calm and call us. Got a lot of stuff in the back here. So cool. This is awesome. Nice poochie. That's what I was thinking. How about a milk bone? I think I got a milk bone. Nice pooch. There's so many Ecto ones out here. There's one, two, three. And then one, two, three in the back, six of them out here. So cool. I gotta tell you, I, Tampa J loves Ghostbusters. I love Ghostbusters too. It's probably my most favorite movie. One of my most favorite movies of all time. I love Ghostbusters. So glad someone's playing the soundtrack too, because man, can't beat that soundtrack. And it is Doctor Who themed, as I said. We got Darth Vader here meeting a little princess that's adorable, right in front of the TARDIS. Just a, a look-see down here, down the street. One of the cool things also about Sci-Fi Bar 2 is the fact that it's outside. It's, like I said, kind of like a, a farmer's market, but make it geeky, right, Scooby? Right. Huge Star Wars photo op going on time. right now. Oh, oh there's a so in there. Yeah. Also, uh, Darth Rebels. Vader. Yeah, Star Wars awesome. Always love to see all the Star Wars cosplay. Okay, some time has passed. We've uh, been really enjoying the Sci-Fi Bartow and we've met up with a lot of people who watch the channels and we really appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun hanging out yeah. with Greg from Greg's Game Room. Now we're inside of, yeah. what is this exactly? The this History is, uh, Center or? Oak County History Museum. Also Bartow History Museum. Uh -huh. And Genealogy Center. This is yeah. the old courthouse. That's what they use it for now. This is impressive. I've I've never been inside of here before. It's like a children's museum too. Yeah, inside of inside yeah. of here, we've got these uh, these folks inside of here. Great. Um, but I wanted to point out, 
this pioneer house, which would have been, you know, what what the people Florida here in Florida, yeah, yeah Florida crackers, uh, would have lived in. And this is this is very historically accurate, and you're you're gonna see why here. It's because of this. Everyone used to have a pet gator. I I I just feel like gators would have found their way inside of houses just like this in Florida back in the day. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know how people... So, very accurate. I, I like the accuracy. People in Portland put birds on things. Here in Florida, we put a gator on it. That was given to us by our friends at Skullworks Creations. We were at their booth earlier. It's such a sweet couple. Mm -hmm. We've ran into them so many times. They made us this gift package. Yeah. They had a feeling they were gonna see us today. And wow, look what she did for us. Amazing, yeah. 12-31-22, that's when we were engaged. Yep, that's when we got engaged. Jay and Jay Chris. And Chris. This is beautiful. It is gorgeous. We have to put that somewhere very, very special. Very special, very special gift. Also, mm -hmm. as we were showing, she makes yep. these like earring things and yeah. she knows you love Some plants. Plant, plant magnets in here. Plant there. And I love that. Yeah, Friday it's so the cool. 13th. He's, yeah. he's a big Friday the 13th fan. Mm -hmm. Look what he put on the back. There's much ahead. So That's cool. correct. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Very, very talented folks. So make sure you check them out. School yeah. Works. Check them out. I'll put a link in the description below. Yeah. But thanks so much. And thank it's amazing. you, everyone we saw today. Um, everyone... That came up to us and mm -hmm. all our friends we saw robert today too yeah yeah it was really nice such really, a great day really great Bar day show. Yeah. russell i'm gonna leave some a name out but... i'm sure we will yeah <laughs> everybody that we met today and then that said hello to us thank you it made thank our you. day yeah all right that is going to do it for today's video we had a really great day today a lot of fun started off at Super lowe's good. did a bunch of shopping and um, I didn't buy a bird bath, by the way. Obviously, I didn't show it um, that I had bought one. Um, I'm going to think about it a little bit more. Lowe's gave me a lot to think about. I think I might want to check out some other stores as well. Um, shop around for bird baths. I don't want to just make a decision on it. I want to make sure we get the right one for the birds, right? So, um, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. We'll be doing more spring shopping and plant shopping, like I've been saying as well going forward. And then, yeah, Sci-Fi Bartow is always so much fun. I barely showed anything in this video. Tampa J, as I said, he did a whole entire video on this really, really awesome, I, I don't think I can call it a convention, this really awesome Street. event, it's I guess. A festival con. Festival con. Yeah, it's it's so cool. It, it seriously is one of my more favorite events here in Florida. Really neat that it's a free event, and um, yeah, it, it's all outside and a lot of people there. It seems to be growing every single year, and we always see a lot of a lot of friends and, and viewers and whatnot. So it's just a good time. We love Sci-Fi Barto. And yeah, make sure you check out Tampa G's video Thank you. for that entire Thank experience. You. And also shout out to Greg from Greg's Game Room, whom we hung out with all today, all day today. And that was really awesome. Make sure you check out his channel, Greg's Game Room. I'll put a link down in the description below for you all. Um, and yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. I really, thank really hope that you enjoyed it. One more thing. One more. One more thing. Hold on. One more thing. Right now, I don't know if you all saw the video or not, but right now, you, I put out a video re recently um, where I did, I had a Killstar haul and like I did a Killstar video recently. Wow, I'm all over the place because I, I didn't plan this out in my head because I totally forgot until right now. You can get 20% off of your Killstar order right now if you use my special code, Chris. 20 it's also down i'll put it in the description below as well um so if there's something that you've been eyeing on killstar make sure you, you this might be the time 20 percent off that's a decent r i s two two zero this might be a decent code. this might be a decent time to uh to do that so i wanted to throw that out Kill there star. because 
it's only going on for a few more days here till the 22nd of February. So I thought I would remind you all that is a thing. If you don't know what Killstar is, either check out the videos or just check out the website. It's They got a lot of really cool spooky stuff. Um, anyway, wanted to throw that in there as well. Okay, thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you later. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.